America! All right, guys, so here it is. This is the bump fire video. Uh, for those of you that don't know what the bump fire stock is, it's really kind of come in uh, into focus lately. Uh, as of the making of this video, it was just after the, the business that happened in Las Vegas. Um, sad situation, obviously. But so bump fire stocks are all the big deal now. So I've never been a big fan of bump fire stocks. Uh, I've always thought they were kind of a stupid accessory, to be honest with you. But so here is what it is. So this is your bump fire stock. For those of you who haven't seen it, that slides back and forth like this. The gun is safe. Uh, let me clear it on video for you guys so that you can see that it's safe so all the safety people will be happy. Clear, clear, clear. See the action there, no magazine. All right, so what you do is you put your finger through this thing right here, and as the gun cycles, it causes the trigger to hit the finger. So that's how this thing works. I've always thought they were a little bit silly. You know, frankly, uh, if we had a way to register machine guns, we wouldn't have to have accessories that skirt the law as the uh, NRA said these do the other day, or at least uh, conceded that they need to be looked at. Um, that was not, a, that was not a, a, a thing that many of the gun community people liked. Uh, but at any rate, uh, so that's that's how it works. It's a recoil operated system. It does not cause the gun itself to be auto or anything like that. Uh, so we're going to go out and run it and see what happens. I've never done this before. I've never really been interested in one, but I figured I'd make a video since it's uh, been all over the news lately. All right, so here we are. Like I said, you'll, you will put your finger through the trigger and put it here, and then you push forward. And so the, the, the recoil action of the gun should cause it to simulate full auto fire. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Like I said, it's my first time, we'll see how easy it is. <laughs> Fairly easy. I don't know if, uh, looks like I got a misfeed. All right, try again. Works pretty good. Works pretty good. So that's kind of what the bump fire does. Uh, that's how it works. We'll uh, pause real quick. We'll run another mag. That was kind of fun. All right, let's do it again. Let's see, it's kind of light striking some of these rounds. That was the last one. Another thing that I've heard of besides using this bump fire, I have the bump fire locked back now. Another thing that I've heard of besides using the bump fire is putting your finger through and kind of holding your belt loop. And that if you put your finger through and use the gun's recoil, you can make it run full auto. So we're gonna give that a quick shot and then we'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the bump fire uh, stock at the end. So let me grab my belt loop and try to put pressure forward. Have to be careful where your thumbs are. So as you can see, that's a pretty effective method of full auto fire too. So, you know, I hate to make this video because we might end up with Feinstein or Pelosi or somebody starting to ban belt loops where we can't wear pants anymore. Got to only go to suspenders. So, at any rate, uh, that... That's kind of how the slide fire stock or the bump fire stock works. I mean, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty fun. I don't think it's very useful uh, for anything other than than just playing around with uh, because you know accuracy is not a not something that's very uh, very doable with it either. But uh, all in all, you know, is it something I would own? Probably not. But I think they need to pass some law against it. Definitely not. Uh, but you know, maybe go check one out for yourself while you still can. Y'all have a good one. Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. 
So thanks for watching the video, and we hope you'll follow us in the future.